Welcome Cancers, I'm back y'all with another video. So this video is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node of Cancer. Alright, so if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart in those areas, you can utilize this video. Alright, so if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I would love to have you here. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe and be a part of the notification game because you aren't going to want to miss the tea. Okay, so let's talk, guys. Let's see what messages we have for the cancer. These cards have been pre shuffled but I am going to shuffle just a little bit, um, you know, so you guys can see the shuffle. All right, if you are interested in booking a personal, all of that information is in the drop box below, as well as, guys, check out my website. All right, I got some new things coming over there. All of that information is in the drop box below. All right, so we got this protection oil, guys. Um, I did run out of stock, um, but this will be back in stock, okay? So let's talk cancers. Let's see what messages do we have for the cancer for March. Cancer. Cancer. What message is there for cancer? All right, we're going to stop right here. Ooh, cancers. At the bottom, we have the six of wands. I'm I'm super cold right now. Like I'm I don't know why I'm so cold, but I'm just extremely cold right now. <laughs> All right, so we got the six of wands here. All right, so there's a victory, a success here. Um, it may have taken a long time. It may have taken a while, um, for you to get to this um success. You may have to cut a few people off or um. I feel like there could have even possibly been like some sort of ending or some type of heartbreak or sorrow. Um, but it took you, man, it took you a while to get over it. But I feel like you guys are headed towards success. Okay. Especially with that six of wands right there, you're getting recognized or some type of recognition. Let's see what we got here. All right. So we got the two of swords, queen of swords, seven of swords. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Judgment, Four of Swords, Four, I'm sorry, the, yeah, Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. All right. I'm getting like you don't you don't want somebody to uh, take something the wrong way here. Um, I'm getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody feels like you're on un, you're uninterested. Yeah. See, so we got the fool. We got the fool here. You could be dealing with the Aries, um, or this is just a new beginning, a new start, a new journey. Okay. I feel like um, someone feels as if you are uninterested. Why is the why is the two of swords here? The sun. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo, but I'm getting something here was for fun. <laughs> oh, the devil and the knight of wands. Okay, yeah, somebody here was having some fun. There could have been some one night stands here. Um, I'm getting some spying going on as well, too. Um, maybe you found out the truth about a situation. Maybe you didn't have clarity, and you do. I feel like some of you are making new friends. Okay, I see that as well, too. Some of you are even walking away from a fire sign. I'm picking up seeing Leo's energy here with the strength card. But some of you are having the courage to walk away from a situation that no longer serves you. I'm getting like you don't want to see. Why is the sun card here? You don't want to seem rude. <laughs> why is the sun card here? 
the Knight of Wands. Here he is again. And this, like I said, the Sun and the Knight of Wands, this is very, you know, fun energy. This is very childlike energy, like a, a, breath, of fresh, a breath of fresh air. Um, this is also like player type energy as well, too. So maybe you're avoiding trying to get played, you know, um, but I'm getting like some type of truth, some type of truth or clarity. Like it's like you're gaining some type of clarity on something. Four of Wands could be within a group of people, um, a community or a marriage could be involved or a living arrangement. Some of you may feel like you don't have anyone to talk to. You're, you're possibly like um, by yourself or you feel like you're um, alone sometimes. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Temperance. Sagittarius is energy. And the Knight of Swords. Ooh, and the Charity. Very irrational energy. Very fast paced. Um, I'm getting like feeling the need to be tempered. Okay, that's the challenge to kind of keep a balance. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Strength card, Leo. Maybe you aren't sure if someone is like joking. Yeah, you feel like someone, either you're giving somebody to run around or somebody's giving you to run around. Um, and I feel like you could be tired. This could go either way because I feel like your energy, your energy is the four of swords, okay? Something here was extremely burdensome um, in the past with that ten of wands energy. Oh, yeah, you cut that out, though. That's over with. That burdensome energy is over with and done, okay? That burden... Oh, you got the Ten of Swords twice. Maybe you were keeping it a secret about how you really feel. But you were having to try to find balance and control your emotions. Okay, now judgment going ahead. You've, you've uh, realized something here. The star, you've realized your worth. Okay, you've realized your worth. Look at this, the High Priestess and the, and the Star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. But I'm getting like you, some of you have intuitive... Um, have intuitive energy or some of you are going to talk to a reader um but i'm getting someone with a in, with a spiritual gift um but some of you are waking up to your spiritual gifts okay oh i love this energy all right four of swords four of swords uh let's see what's going on here the lovers all right so there could be a decision between two people two different things here Maybe you aren't sure if, you know, you aren't sure about a person because someone here has a lot of player type energy. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. Yeah, you're really thinking about this. Which way to go, which direction to take. For some of you, this is about a marriage. So you're thinking about which direction to take. How this other person external to you is feeling. I'm feeling like they're disappointed or they feel uninterested or they aren't getting the type of attention that they want from you. Um, could be a sexual thing here with that Ace of Wands. Maybe they're disappointed because they aren't getting a new beginning with you. But yeah, they haven't been getting any like romantic lovey-dovey energy from you. Um, or they aren't giving that energy. Okay, I'm getting that. Somebody here is saying that they're too busy. Um, making up an excuse saying that they're too busy. All right. Um, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, you're definitely um, putting in some work. Some of you are focused on your career, your job. Yeah, you're putting in a lot of work. Some of you um, are, you know, feel like the, if this is the best thing for me to do is to move on, then I'm willing to do that. I feel like a lot of y'all are standing your ground. But that seven of wands, that's the outcome here. You're standing your ground. You're doing what you need to do. If, if something here needs to end, then it will end. Okay. I feel like you know your worth here. You know your worth here. You know your worth here. 
okay? And for some of you, uh, we got the death card and the ace of pentacles. Um, there's no opportunity. Like, the opportunity for something has ended, okay? We got the justice card. You could be dealing with a uh, Libra. And then there's that six of wands. You Justice is served for you. Justice is served. And it could be towards a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You've been waiting. You've been waiting on this. <laughs> You've been kind of waiting on this to, to flip around like this. Um, but justice is served. I'm getting you in. Look, your plan. Your plan goes in your favor. Two of Wands and the Six of Wands. Something that you um, that you've been planning is going in your favor. Yep. Something is going in your favor. All right. So I hope this message was helpful. Okay. If this message resonated with you guys, be sure to leave the thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share with your family and your friends. If you are new, go ahead and become part of our community here and click the subscribe button. All right. Be sure to check out my website, guys. All of that information is in the drop box below, as well as if you're interested in booking a personal reading, all of that information is in the drop box below. All right. Until next time, guys. Ciao for now.